Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Khanna, host on Tech Digest, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a gaming and benchmarks review of the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. The S6 and S6 Edge essentially have same hardware, so this should be good for the S6 as well. I'll also talk about the temperature rise in the phone after we play games. So I'll show you the temperature before and after. I'll play games like the Asphalt 8 and Frontline Commando 2, and show you benchmarks on and to do benchmarks 64 bit and Nina Mark 2. Let's get started. Starting with the N22 benchmarks, we got an awesome score of 69,089, which almost looks unreal. This is the 64-bit test and this is the Exynos 7 series chip, which is uh, the 7420 to be precise. It is an octa-core chip with 64-bit cores, so this is why the performance is super high. The Mali T760 GPU has been used, it comes with 3 GB of RAM, 32 GB of internal memory, so it's fairly loaded when it comes to specifications. Before we start gaming, let me show you the battery temperature here. It is showing the temperature as 31 degrees centigrade as you can see in this uh, reading. We'll check again after we play one full level of Asphalt 8. Let's get out of this and let me show you the Nina Mark 2 score that uh, we tested it on. This is a graphics benchmark score and suggest how good the frames per second will be. And it gives us 59.4 frames per second at a very high resolution of 2560 by 1440. This is a super impressive score. Now without further wasting any time, let's get to gaming and play Frontline Commando 2 first and then we'll play the Asphalt 8 Airborne and then we'll check the temperature. As you can see the gaming experience is fairly intense here and it gives a very immersive experience with superb display and very crisp graphics. Let's get to the next game which is the Asphalt 8 Airborne and see how it performs there. And we have finished the level. Now let's go quickly get out of this game and check the temperature reading on the Antutu. Let's uh, respawn this application by killing it so that uh, it's not giving us a wrong reading. Anyways, the phone does not feel very hot or uh, very warm from behind. Feels okay. 
let's see what the temperature reading comes out to be on N2 2 and it is 32.3 degrees and when we started it was 31 degrees which means that the phone barely heats up it's fairly loaded when it comes to graphics and processing power and it does not take too much load and it does not heat up too much there is slightly warmth around this region probably where the processor is but it is not uncomfortably hot this phone is well loaded when it comes to gaming performance so if you're looking for a phone which comes with top-notch gaming performance and best uh, top of the line multiprocessing and capabilities to run heaviest of the applications the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge are made for that if you want to pick up one for yourself I'm leaving some direct links in the description section below you can pick up one for yourself at best prices from online stores this is all we have on our gaming and benchmarks review if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and for more such videos make sure you hit the red subscribe button this is your host Rohit Kurana signing off thanks for watching